right, so here's the 93. This was the uh, four cylinder auto to V8 swap I did. Um, I haven't done an update on this in a really long time. It was just a bad time. My daughter had just been born and uh, the weather wasn't so great. So I kind of was uh, not in a rush, but I had to finish it fairly quick because it was sitting on my, uh, on the sidewalk. It was in front of my house on the sidewalk where I did the swap. I literally pulled the motor out right there on the sidewalk. I uh, sold it right there and I installed it and did everything to it right there on the sidewalk. The weather is horrible right now in uh, Northern California. Um, it's been raining for a few days. It's probably gonna rain for the, the whole week coming up and probably a lot of time after that. But here's the car. Um, I know, like I said, I skipped out on a lot of things. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'm pretty good about answering everybody's questions. So just hit me up. Um, as of right now, it has the SVE upper and lower control arms, which I got for free, that are completely trash. Um, the bushings on there, even on a stock setup, will literally deteriorate within a couple of weeks or a couple of months of driving. Um, I had those on the car when it was a four cylinder automatic, and even then they didn't last. So they, they won't hold up to anything really. Um, I have some uh, upper and lowers that I'm gonna put on it. As of right now, it's not my daily anymore. I drive it maybe once every two weeks or so. I've been driving it a lot more lately because I'm gonna start doing a, doing another build on this one. Um, so it has that, 373 rear uh, gears, um, 18 by 10, saline's in the back. Actually sits pretty, pretty good, pretty, uh, pretty perfect actually has a bbk lowering springs which i don't really like they're kind of stiff it has um kyb hex adjustable shocks and struts in the front and in the rear it has a uh, 13 inch rotors with cobra brakes in the front i need to paint those letters white the cobra letters 18 by nines in the front um interior is still the same it has a uh, 2014 coyote seats uh myself and one of my friends made the rails on it but has the SV cup holder, the LMR cup holder, 11 to 14 Coyote seats. Um, V8 gauge cluster, but I had to put the, um, I had to put the, oh, so the keys in there. I had to put the four cylinder uh, speedometer back in it because the V8 one was messed up. So I just swapped out the speedometer tack. Other than that, everything works. Um, it does work, but it's pretty off. Check out that shifter though, man. That thing is huge. It's comfortable as hell though, but for quick shifting and all that, probably not the best. Um, what else? Pretty much stock, man. It has um, an X pipe with high flow cats on it. It has mufflers, cat back, 2.5 tailpipes. It has some no brand shorty headers. It was pretty much just a bunch of parts that I had laying around that I threw together. It has, um, I believe, like 50% tint all around. It just looks a little darker than what it really is, but it's all the same uh, tint shade. Again, this was my daily driver for, for, a, for a good amount of time. And um, now I'm gonna start doing a build on this one, which I probably will document. I had a previous car, you guys could look at the videos um, on my page, but I had a car that had, a, it had Trick Flow 11R 190 heads on a completely 100% stock block. It had a Trick Flow 11R 190 heads, Anderson N41 cam. It had a comp cam roller rockers. It had the Trick Flow R series intake manifold. It had a 75 millimeter throttle body, a cold air intake that I made. Um, uh, what else? It had, I mean, pretty much pulleys, cold air intake, throttle body, full exhaust, MSD box, all of that. And the car I think went, went best of 1230s at 111 miles per hour. It put down 342, that's without a tune. That's just adjusting timing and a timing and fuel pressure. It made 345, I believe, 320 something torque. Now the only thing with that car was it had no low end whatsoever. Everything, uh, all the power it made was like up high. The cam was more of like a top end cam. Um, big heads stock block and a small cam made a made a good amount of power but it needed like a 430 gear ratio or maybe a low range cam so that's what i'm going to do with this one i'm going to do the same setup i had on a previous car that i sold it'll either have um a smaller cam or uh 
like a lower range cam or it'll have a uh, taller gears right now the car has 373s here it is completely stock i mean besides like what does it have it has the explorer intake manifold headers and that's it really it has an electric fan out of a contour um i run it separate man i get a lot of people to ask that man i run the separate i don't run those little uh boxes that they sell i run a hayden temperature switch and then i run a relay um it's down there i run a separate relay and i always have you know good experiences with that i've never had an issue with that i've never blown a relay it has a cnl uh aftermarket mass air meter for the stock injectors other than that man it's stock um nothing too crazy it's fun as hell to drive it has ac heater uh stock air box stock air filter I drive it here and there. I used to drive it to work all the time. It runs perfect. Um, I did the base idle reset. That shit made a huge difference. Stock radiator, all that. It's 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 fun as hell like this. It's just really slow. I think I took it to the track. It went like 14.5 or something on street tires. But once I do the uh, heads cam intake setup, I'm hoping it'll at least go. I mean, I went 1230s on another car. Um, didn't really have much done to the suspension this one i'm going to do full suspension on it like full drag suspension and it should go i'm hoping to at least my goal is to make it at least go like 1180s um i know people have ran way better but i think that's in another like in other states where the elevation and sea level and all that is different so i think i could get it to run 11s but we'll see i'm still gonna have ac and I don't know, the white car, the coupe with the Coyote, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one. That might just be like my weekend car and then I'll make this the race car or something. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let me see, I'll start it up real quick. So you guys can see how it sounds. Oh, one thing I noticed, um, I didn't think the car had a cam. I didn't change the cam in it. I didn't put a cam in it. I didn't even pull it out. I regasketed the motor top to bottom. Like everything looks brand new on it. But I don't know about the cam, like I didn't, uh, I didn't pull the cam out to check. I probably should have, but it sounds like it has a cam. I don't know. You guys could, you guys be the judge of that. Once it warms up, I've been parked here for a while, so I don't know. It might, it might not. Um, not a hundred percent sure whether it does or it doesn't. I'm going to swap it out anyway. Uh, I might do the trick flow cam. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Let's see. know what you guys think if it does have a camera or not I, I didn't like i said i didn't pull it out it sounds like it has a cam it has pretty much stock replacement exhaust nothing crazy actually has the same exhaust i have on my on my coupe but i don't know if it does or it doesn't have an aftermarket cam shit kind of sounds like it got a little chop to it i don't know but anyway if you guys have any questions man let me know hit me up uh comment below I'll walk you guys through the uh, heads cam intake swap in this one as well.